Hi, welcome to this tutorial explaining how to use the Power On I.O. function in the project editor. Instead of manually controlling an I.O. pin every time you click a source button, you can control it automatically only when the system is powered on. This is done by using Power On I.O. Start by opening the Meet Space 3 project. And click on the Power On I.O. in the menu. You will now see the front page. On the right, you will be able to tell what to happen when with the IOs and relays when the system is powered on. In this case, we select screen down, or this one. You will see some of the buttons having a small green um, and yellow icon, meaning that it executes the IO operation. And if you click on a button with this icon, it will change its, its, uh, its state and the icon and not execute the I.O. operation. We can try to do that with our CD button, which we don't need to uh, roll down the screen. So we click on that, and we will see a, a, a red cross. Um, then we have uh, several buttons that are grayed out, uh, like these, uh, all the vol volumes. Uh, it means that they do not support the power on I.O. operation because they either do not have a sequence attached or if the sequence is not of the type source or on. Uh, I can show you an assigned sequence. We have this, which is a uh, volume function. Um, so um, in this case, uh, when we press the PC1 button, the screen goes down. Then we press PC2. Uh, the system is already powered on, so the screen is not going down uh, again. And we have told not to make any IO, uh, IO operations on the CD button. So even if you press that when the system is powered off, the screen is not going down. Thank you for watching this tutorial.